Yeah, hi there. These comments, I'm going to just use your initials here, L, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. And in your situation, you took the TOEFL two times. The first time you got 71, the second time you got 67, but you're really frustrated according to the message at my website. You actually prepared for the TOEFL for two months and you got lower marks on this attempt. And on the first attempt where you got 71, you didn't study at all, right? So you're really worried about the TOEFL. You even asked me a question. You said, well, is the TOEFL more difficult now than it was? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think it really is. So, you say, I've applied for some universities for a master's program and you need to get a score of 90 or higher. You have up to six hours that you can study daily and you want uh, some information. So, and I can do that. So, you got some paper? You ready to take down some notes because I have some, some good information for you. So, first of all, if your score is around 67 to 70, you shouldn't be doing too much TOEFL preparation study right now. You need to work on your basic academic English language abilities. You just need to work on improving your English first, then you can work on some of those strategies and, and things later on. So, number one. Get in the habit of reading every day for about 45 minutes. You can pick whatever reading materials you like. Just make sure that they do not come from a TOEFL book. You can focus on newspapers, magazines, and longer books. Two, also practice listening every day for about 45 minutes. Remember, your reading and listening sections need improvement. You need to get better, right? So, as you're doing the reading and the listening practice, and this brings me to point number three, start taking notes. Get in note form the main and the most important supporting points of the reading and the listening passages. Number four, my fourth suggestion. Using your notes, I want you to write three academic summaries each week. Nobody has to read it, only for yourself. But each summary, like I said, should be about 250 words. Number five, in addition to doing the three academic summaries or written summaries each week, you should also be speaking about the reading and the listening passages. Again, using your notes, I want you to give three 60-second oral summaries. Make sure that you record the oral summaries so that you can listen to them uh, later on. So that's also very, very important for you. It's going to help you in the long run, trust me. Now, this is good. I've given you five suggestions so far. Now, so far I haven't said anything about my online TOEFL course, but now let's bring that up. This is my sixth suggestion. The first thing I want you to do, complete the vocabulary, pronunciation, and grammar sections of my course. Do this first probably take you one or two months, right? This is important for you right now. This is where you need to make improvements, your basic English, right? Now, number seven, once you've completed the vocabulary, pronunciation, and grammar sections, I want you to now do the listening and reading sec sections of my course. Once you've done that, then you can complete the speaking and writing areas. That's my eighth suggestion. Now, number nine, the ninth thing that you can do is maybe every two or three months you can take a full-length IBT practice test to monitor your progress. I think this is important for three reasons. Number one, if you take a full-length practice test, you get more familiar with the structure and the format of the TOEFL IBT exam. That's number one. Number two, you, you get a chance to mark your progress. You see how close you are to 90. Right After about two or three months following my plan, you should make some improvements, at least 10 points. If you don't make 10 points improvement, you're not following my plan. There's something you're not doing right. 
So you got to really think about what you're doing, how you're doing it. Now, the third benefit of taking a full-length IBT practice test is the fact that you develop the stamina and the strength needed to answer that type of test. So if you follow these three suggestions, you'll definitely make improvements, I think, with your academic English language proficiency. All right, so good luck to you. I hope to have you as one of my students.